Now, where do I hang this at? So, I just got back from watching Transformers Rise of the Beast. And so, here's my review on it. And keep in mind, I was at a fan event early screening. That's what, that's why I got, that's how I got that poster as well. So, maybe that changed my thoughts on this movie. Or maybe it didn't. So, keep that in mind. Anyways, here's my review on Transformers Rise of the Beast. So, before I give you guys my review on this movie, I'm gonna give you guys my history on the Transformers franchise live action movies as a whole. So skip to this time stamp if you want to watch my review for the actual movie. But you guys should know some backstory first. So the Michael Bay films for the Transformers movies, most of you guys know this, they're not the best. Now, I never seen any of the Transformers animated shows, so I don't really have that full nostalgia for Transformers. But based on Michael Bay's films, I enjoy the characters and the story that they're trying to tell with the movies. But the movies are just not good to watch. They're not fun to watch. Just they focus way too much on the humans, especially the last night. Like, wow, when I was watching that on rewatch... What was the screen time for Optimus Prime in that movie? Because that was like the main point I was interested in. But anyways, it, they weren't just that enjoyable. And I didn't like them because of that. It was hard for me to sit through them. Now, Bumblebee came out. And I watched that for the first time today before watching this movie. And Bumblebee was actually really good. I really enjoyed Bumblebee. But the Michael Bay films... They have so many problems with the pacing, the character arcs, character setup. They just don't pay off that well. So going into... I wasn't planning on watching this movie, Transformers Rise of the Beast. I wasn't planning on watching it. But then that official trailer came out. And I have my trailer thoughts on that if you want to go check it out. But that the trailer came out and I was like... Wow, this looks epic and cool. So I bought a ticket the moment the tickets went on sale. And I went to the fan event early screening on a Wednesday at 7pm. So without further ado, let's start off with everything I liked about Transformers Rise of the Beast. And everything I liked about this film. For starters, the new Transformers that they introduced to this movie, especially Omarge. Like, he became my favorite favorite character the moment he was introduced. They just did this really good job at setting these new characters up that makes you that make you like them and make them relatable. Like even the humans here, like I was just complaining about, they spent too much time on the humans. But in this movie, they evened it out. They, they were able to combine the humans with the Transformers and still made the movies focus more on the Transformers, but just had the humans there to help. So they just made it work. And I really appreciate that. And that the characters are also really funny. And especially Omar's, like I said, you laugh at every joke he gives to you. <laughs> every joke. They're hilarious. I fell in love with that character. I like Omarge more than Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. And there, there are my three Transformer characters that I know the names of. There, he, he, this movie did a good job. And then we have Noah, the human boy. He, he does a really good job as well. Um, people reviewing say, say he was funny. I didn't really see that mostly, but he does play a important role. And it is important that he's in this movie. Well, he did have a good role to play, unlike other Transformers movies where the humans take away from the Transformers. This one evenly fleshes them out. And speaking of fleshing out, 
What I do appreciate about these newer Transformers films is that they're fleshing out the Transformers. Michael Bay did not do that. Well, he probably did a couple, but he did not do that. And then this movie, they're fleshing out Optimus Prime as the leader. The last movie, they're fleshing out Bumblebee. And it just works. I care so much more about these characters now than I did when I was watching Michael Bay's movies. And I, I really love that. Because watching Michael Bay's movies, you don't really care about them that much. I bet you if I rewatch Michael Bay's franchise now, I will like them just a little bit more. But some of you might be saying, this is a reboot. I mean, like, depending on what the sequels do, you could technically still watch this before the Michael Bay franchise. If you just, like, have to kind of, like, piece together what happened between this movie and the last night. Because, you know, the villain Ultron is in both of those movies. And it doesn't really make sense how he, Ultron's underground in the last night. But no one cares about the last night anyways. You can flick that away. But if you did somehow want to watch that movie, I mean, like, you could kind of piece together what kind of happened in between there, kind of. But maybe a sequel can expand more upon that. But currently, I still count this as a sequel prequel. People say this movie is like generic. We've seen this story before. I mean, like that is true. But going into this movie, I was just expecting entertainment is what I like really wanted. Because Michael Bay wasn't really able to do that. I got way much more than this. And like I did say, I went to a fan event. So... That just changed my experience entirely, so maybe I have a different opinion than you. But will I remember this movie? Like, will I re even care about that I watched this movie? I mean, like, if I wasn't going to an early screening of The Flash tomorrow, I would probably think about this movie for another week. But since I have a chance of going to the early screening of The Flash tomorrow, and if that movie turns out to be good, I'll forget I even watched this movie in the first place. So, I kind of think that's an unfair balance, but I can't really say. I'll probably, if I wasn't watching The Flash tomorrow, I would probably think about this movie for like a week or two. I have no... I. I have no can I I don't care about watching this movie in the theaters again. I can wait for physical media to watch it again. I like unlike other movies, I want to watch it in the theater again. This one I'm like I can wait a little bit longer. I'm not in the rush to see it again. So, that's probably a sign for you instead of me telling you that I'm watching The Flash tomorrow. So, another thing, the runtime. This movie is a clock in 2 hours and 20 minutes. I think it's a tiny little bit shorter than that, but around that mark. And this movie did not feel like that at all. It felt like an hour and like 25 minutes, not counting the credits. And yeah, it went by so fast. This movie is just extremely entertaining. The fight scenes are so beautiful. Like, by watching the trailer alone, you can see what the fight scenes look like. And, wow, are they, like, gorgeous in this movie. They're fun to watch, and you're getting goosebumps while watching it. Combined with the comedy as well, this movie is almost perfect. Why almost? Well, let's go on to what I didn't like about this movie. I felt like the trailer, like, when, like watching the trailer at first, you may not think this, but... The trailer sort of gave the movie away. Like, watching the trailer before you watch the movie, you won't know this, but after watching the movie and while watching the movie, you're kind of like piecing stuff together you've seen in the trailer, and you're like, oh, okay. So I kind of know where this is going. So I felt like the trailer kind of gave it away at that point. But besides that, you can't really tell. 
And there is a post credit scene setting up something on later. And I'm, I'm extremely curious how this is gonna work out. I can't really say what the post credit scene is, but I wouldn't really say it's the post credit scene, it's kind of before the post credit scene. But it's just, you'll find out when you watch it. And for this movie being called Rise of the Beast, the beasts weren't really in here till the second and third act. I wouldn't really say it's the second act. It's like halfway through the second act. I don't know. But the point is they don't come into this movie till like the last 45 minutes. Maybe a little bit before. But they're not in this movie at all. Especially for them being on the poster, the title. They're not really in this movie. So keep that in mind if you're a fan of Beast Wars. The CGI is also... I mean, like, once the movie started, it had good CGI. But near, like, the final act and a little bit before that, I started seeing some green screen effects in CGI. Not on the robots, but just with the humans. And it did not look good. Like, I could tell obvious green screen behind Noah... When he was like looking off into the distance before the final battle. And then there's this one scene in particular. And then the face was obviously so fake. So <laughs> the CGI is extremely noticeable. Before I give you my final thoughts, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps me out. And overall, Transformers Rise of the Beast. I really enjoyed it. Like you do you do you don't need a complex story for this kind of movie. You just want entertainment. And this movie does a way better job than Michael Bay did and makes you care about the Transformers more and and has some fan favorite characters in here that he makes you connect to and make them become fan favorites. And I just really enjoyed this movie for not being a Transformers fan and it really surprised me. Now, I do wish the beasts were in it more. CGI at the end wasn't great. But the action scenes and comedy are really good. I highly recommend this movie. And out of 10, I'd probably give it... Currently, keep in mind, I did go to a fan screening. An 8 out of 10. Maybe that's too high, but... I... This was a big surprise. Now, currently, as recording this video... It has 100% from an audience. I, I'm sure that will go down 100%. But we'll just have to wait and see. But it is going to be around that range. I did really enjoy this movie. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.